What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, and I am back. Uh, now, here's the thing, I want to clear up some things. There weren't a lot of videos coming out for two reasons, and that was one, uh, I am not interested in playing Pokemon right now in like Spike Myth VGC, I just find like the format a little bit boring, like granted, I love the format, right? Uh, but with so much Scarlet and, and Violet hype, like it's, it's hard to play it, you know? I just want to prepare for Scarlet and Violet right now. So I don't know what I'm going to be streaming now that I'm able to stream, but that, that brings me to the second reason I wasn't making videos. Uh, and that's because I, I, if you haven't noticed, we're in a completely new area. I moved. I moved out of my parents' place, obviously. Um, this is mostly due to the fact that I got a job um, within my field of study. Uh, but uh, uh, not really. I mean, I get to use my degree, but it's not within my field of study. But uh, also partially, it's because of the YouTube channel, you know, we're popping off. It helps me sustain the ability to live on my own despite being kind of young. Um, I feel like 23 is probably about the right time. I don't know. And it, it, point is, we're making a video today. We're back. Uh, and yeah, uh, we're going to be ranking the new Terra types. And I, I want to take a like a different approach to this, right? I feel like a lot of people will be ranking them like it hits this super effectively, it hits this and that. Um, but this tier list, that is like secondary to the reason I'm making this video. The main reason I'm making this video is because I want to disclose all the different advantages you get with particular typings, like secondary passive effects. So yeah, we're gonna talk about that. But if you guys enjoy this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications because I bring you competitive Pokemon content. I almost said daily, but it's not going to be daily until Scarlet Violet drop. I'm going to be dropping like my two edited videos a week and then maybe like once a week I'll drop one of these videos where I just talk about stuff like off the cuff. But yeah, let's get into it. Um, So the rankings are, keep in mind, the ranking isn't just like this type's amazing. It's like utility wise. I'm just going to talk about like the different utilities and then rank it overall as like a typing uh, that you would want to Terra into. Uh, but yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So Bug is an automatic D tier for me. I don't think there are any like straight up F tier types except for maybe Ice, but I, I'm, I don't want to put it in F. That's too many tiers. Uh, but Bug is not a particularly great typing to want to tear it into for a couple of reasons. Um, there are no passive effects with Bug types. Uh, you know, certain types get like immunity to particular things. Bug gets nothing and it has a lot of weaknesses, especially for VGC. Uh, in VGC, we're known for spamming Rock Slide, and while you didn't see too much of that in Dynamax formats, uh, now that Dynamax is gone, Flinch is a pretty big deal, so Rock Slide is like just super good. So yeah, I, I think Bug being weak to Rock moves, Flying moves, Fire moves, like we all know about like Heat Wave spam. Uh, many Bug types, like their secondary typing doesn't help, doesn't help them out too much, uh, despite how good they are. Like even the good Bug types are, you know, not that great. Uh, but yeah, uh, I would say bug type is a straight up D tier. Now, this one's going to be a bit controversial. I think that dark is an absolute S tier uh, Terra type. Now, obviously, particular Pokemon will want a Terra type into different things depending on their role on a team. But we're just talking about the types generally. I think that dark is just amazing uh, for two reasons. For one, dark is a really, really good like offensive typing. Uh, you hit Ghost super effective, uh, it no longer is resisted by Steel, so that's pretty big. Uh, you hit Psychic super effective, and everything like just gets hit by neutral. Like, I'm trying to think of what resists Dark, and it's basically fighting types, which are not super, super important in VGC. Like, you see them, obviously, uh, but they're not like really common, like water types. Um, and what else? And like opposing Dark types, so like that's... That's like it. I'm pretty sure that's all that resists dark. So like offensively, you're hitting a lot of things neutral. I'm probably forgetting about something just so you know, I'm like, I'm an idiot, but I play competitive Pokemon a lot. So I'm like smart at one thing uh, that in physics, but like this is my thing. Uh, I'm going to forget something, though. Uh, you hit a lot of things neutrally. Obviously, like knockoff is like a really important move uh, as like a, a dark utility move, but it depends on distribution. Like obviously, like if you're a Rillaboom, you're going to want to stay grass type for like the fact that you're going to spam like grassy glide the whole game. But like if you're a prankster Pokemon, like, uh, I don't know, like let's go, let's go with like Tornadus, right? Tornadus, even though it's a prankster Pokemon, it's like super fast and it gets like one of the fastest tailwinds in the game. But if you get taunted by like a Whimsicott, the Whimsicott's going to, it's going to be a huge issue uh, for you because you're not going to get that tailwind off. 
By being a dark type, uh, as of Gen 7, you're now immune to prankster moves. So uh, that makes you immune to stuff like Opposing Grim Snarl, Thunder Wave, Scary Face, Taunt, Opposing Whimsicott, Taunt, Opposing Whimsicott, Charm. There's a lot of reasons to want to be a dark type in like any metagame. So being able to turn into that, like it's it's so much utility, like you have no idea. Uh, but yeah, Dragon, I'm going to keep it real with you. As a Terra type, it's going to be like high C, low B. I think I'm going to put it in B. I might change that depending on how things shape out. Uh, Dragon fell off kind of hard in my opinion and it might be due to the fact that fairies are just that good uh obviously fairies are a super important uh typing ever since like the taboos came out or i guess mm, i don't know it depends if the taboos are available in the game because uh they are generally some of the best terrain setters but if they are in the game and they're like the only terrain setters at our disposal uh then like dragon types fall apart because there's like one fairy on every team that being said, there are some pretty decent dragon types, obviously, you know, Garchomp, uh, Duraludon was pretty decent in a couple of formats, but uh, you gain nothing but neutral damage on everything that isn't like steel and fairy by turning into a dragon type. Like it's it's fine. I almost want to put it CE for that reason, because, you know, fairy is like super common, but I'm going to put it like low B. Uh, they're not like ranked within their own tiers, but I'm going to say like if they, if it were, it'd be like lower end of B, higher end of C, because you just gain nothing from being a dragon other than dragon stab, really. Uh, electric is going to be a solid A tier for me, maybe even S, but I think I'm going to go A. Uh, the reason I struggled to put it in A is because electric hits. Yeah, no, I'm going to put it. Or I'm going to put it in S, sorry. Um, so electric is very closely S tier, like it's almost A, but it's S tier for me because you're immune to paralysis and as time has gone on, Thunder Wave has become more and more important in VGC, uh, especially since we have, you know, Prankster Thunder Wave Pokemon. Uh, I, I, I'm tired of saying Grimmsnarl, so let's just say, I don't know, Meowstic, even though it's not that good. But yeah, uh, being able to be immune to paralysis is a very big bonus. Having only one weakness in ground is also quite good. And while Earthquake is, well, it used to be super common before we got stuff like High Horsepower or Stomping Tantrum, uh, while like ground moves are fairly common in VGC, you'll know when they're going to come out. Like if you, I guess not so much for, you know, terrestrialization, but like if you're facing a Garchomp, you go, okay, maybe don't Terra into Electric just yet. But like, let's say you're facing against, uh, you know, a Prankster Thunder Wave Pokemon, you go, okay, Let's do it. Uh, Electric doesn't have too many resistances. I believe it only resists itself as well as Steel type. Uh, and while Steel isn't a super common offensive typing, um, at least as of Gen 8, obviously we're going to Gen 9 for all we know, things could change. Uh, I would say that being able to resist stuff like opposing Electroweb or Thunder or Thunderbolt is is quite good. So it's, it's going to be like an S tier for me, like very closely though. I'm going to put Fairy as an A. Um, and... It's mainly due to the fact that fairy type is good and like definitely better than a lot of other types, but it's not like a busted typing. Uh, fairy is only resisted by fire, poison, and steel. And while fire is a fairly common typing in VGC, it's kind of carried by the existence of stuff like Incineroar, which gets hit, it gets hit neutrally by that anyways. Uh, obviously, you know, if Charizard, I think Charizard's confirmed for the game because it's Charizard. Game Freak loves Charizard. Um, obviously, if like Charizard's common in the format, that's going to resist you. But um, Steel is like fairly common. You know, we have stuff like Metagross. Um, but yeah, I mean, like obviously defensively, Barry is pretty decent. You have like some good resists. I don't think Bug is super important, but resisting, being immune to Dragon and resisting Dark is obviously quite good. Um, and there are no passive effects for this thing. Uh, also, your only two weaknesses are Steel and Poison, which aren't super common either, unless like, I don't know, we're playing VGC 17 and like Nihiligo is everywhere and there are fairies everywhere, so you have to have those two typings. But uh, Fairy as a Terra type, very good. Like top of good. A is good, B is eh, C is okay, and D is oh no. Yeah. Uh, fighting type. Fighting type is kind of iffy for me, man. I think it's going to go along Dragon, because if you're a fighting type, you don't need to turn into a fighting type again to get the benefits of your typing. Like, hear me out. If you're gonna be, if you're gonna terrestrialize into a fighting type, you better have close combat because fighting as like good of an offensive typing as it is, the fact that it hits steel for super effective, rock for super effective, ice, uh, dark, 
normal. Like it's it hits a lot, right? Like offensively, it's great, but you need to have close combat. Like if you're getting carried by freaking fighting Terra Blast, I'll be honest, fighting Terra Blast is such a like lame concept to me that I failed to recognize it was an option until the until the words escaped my mouth. Uh, yeah, no, you you're better off turning into a fighting type if you have close combat, but most things that have close combat are already fighting types. So like, don't double down on it unless you're like really strong. I don't know. Anyway, it's it's very mid. Like obviously you're gonna hit a lot of things, but it's it's in like the same tier as Dragon where like, where Dragon hits everything super like reliably except for two typings. Fighting hits a lot of things super effective, but comes with so many downsides and the fact that you're now weak to like fairy, um, which, you know, Dazzling Gleam's a thing. Uh, expanding Force is likely going to be a thing. You're also weak to Flying Moves, Brave Bird, Hurricane. Like, it's, it, defensively, fighting is, like, okay. You, like, you resist Bug, you resist Dark, but, like, there's not much else to, I guess you resist Rock. I mean, that's okay, but, yeah. Uh, I see, and honestly, like, most fighting Pokemon, like, even if you're, like, not, like, a fighting Mon, like, if you carry, like, a fighting move, it's coverage to KO stuff like Tyranitar, which you don't need to have like any extra damage on that to like get the job done. I don't know, it's it's just not worth it unless you like really hate Ferrothorn, I guess. Uh, speaking of hating Ferrothorn, we have Fire. Okay, Fire is an interesting one to me because um, Generation 8 taught me that Entei is terrifying because it is immune to Intimidate and immune to Burn. And while Dark is sort of immune to Burn and the fact that like most Prankster Mons carry, most like Will-O-Wisp, Mons, like, are usually, like, Prankster, you know, like, Sable. I guess, you know, you also have stuff like Dusclops, but, like, a lot of the time, you're gonna be hit by, like, Will-O-Wisp off of, like, some kind of priority, I guess. Unless I'm stupid and I'm, like, missing... No, I'm stupid. I'm thinking... It's, like, only Sableye, but... Dark is kind of immune to it, but, like, Fire is just reliably immune to burn. Like, you're not gonna get burned by Heat Wave, Flamethrower, uh, Will-O-Wisp. Physical attackers would love that. Um... And Entei scared me because it's immune to burn, it's immune to intimidate. The only way you're going to lower that attack stats with Growl uh, or some other move like that. So I I feel like Fire is going to be a solid A tier for me, uh, but it depends. Like, let's say that there's like an inner focus mon like, um, I don't know, let's go with like a Lucario. And Lucario wants to be able to hit Grass Pokemon. Like, let's say there's this new super defensive Grass mon like Rilla 2. Um, then yeah, like you're going to be able to one shot it with like Blaze Kick now or Terra, uh, Terra Fire, you know, like whatever the move is called, Terra Blast Fire. Uh, that's kind of cool. I, the main benefit is the fact that you're just not going to be able to be burned. I think that's literally it. I like in, there are going to be Pokemon who want to do that, like Pokemon with access to Flare Blitz for no reason, like Galarian Darmanitan. Um, but like the only mons that would tear into fire for the most part are going to be fire types themselves but i still find the prospect of being a burn immune to be good uh i don't know like it could be like a reflexive thing i almost want to put it like top of b bottom of a uh i'm gonna put it in a for now but it might move down to b flying there are very little reasons to want to turn into a flying type for passive things um but there are some cases i could see there are like a lot of electric types that could become flying uh, maintaining their previous stabs and now being immune to, um, now being immune to ground moves. Uh, and, and I think that's like it. Like, obviously, like, flying is weak to a few things that you don't want to be weak to. Like, you're weak to, uh, electric moves, which electroweb is like a super common move. You're weak to rock moves. Rock slides a super common move. Uh, you're weak to ice moves. Icy wins a thing. I think it's going to be like top of B for me. I'm, I'm like ranking these within these tiers. I said I wasn't going to, but I am. I, I think it's like fine, right? Like there, it's it, the only use you're gonna find it for defensively um, is going to be like, hey, I don't want to be hit by earthquake, and I'm like a Magnezone. That that's like it for me though. I don't know. Um, Ghost. I think Ghost is S tier. Ghost is actually like a really good offensive typing. Uh, the only thing immune to it's normal. Um, and it hits a lot of things for neutral and it's super effective against psychic opposing ghost types. Um, and I believe that's it. Psychic and go. Yeah. But just hitting everything for neutral, you know, poison, steel, grass, fire, water, like everything getting hit for neutral is super good. It sort of has that like dragon type benefit. Um, it, ha it has like a similar, like 
feel as like dragon types where like you're only resist you're only going to be like switched in on by like one type uh or one or two types and you hit like everything either neutrally or super effective so like that's really good um but i think the main benefit is that being a ghost type gives you two passive effects which a lot of people well i guess it, it's one but like i say two because it's vgc and fake out's really common so let's just call it two uh fake out is super super common right and being able to just instantly be like oh no i can't be faked out like that's huge right obviously like there's gonna be a lot of like lead pokemon that want to do that maybe some prankster pokemon like let's say you're a tailwinding whimsicott uh and the opponent is like i'm gonna fake out you but you've already used your like cloak item that new item that makes you fake out immune once or like any any secondary effect once let's say that you have that on a different Pokemon. Well, now your Whimsicott can turn into a ghost type and it's also fake out immune. So you have two fake out immune Pokemon on lead, which is kind of nasty. Uh, I feel like that's where the main benefit comes from. And also you can't be trapped by things. So a lot of uh, ways that you'll deal with defensive Pokemon is by trapping them in and like perish songing. Like I know that when I was playing against, um, I don't, when I play against Ferrothorn, uh, in non-Dynamax format, I'm thinking of like VGC 18, uh, like Spike Myth Cup, I would really enjoy running Gothitelle with like a Parish Song user next to it uh, and just like trap it in and be like, okay, you can stall me for three turns, but you're getting nothing out of this. Being able to switch out of Gothitelle Parish, uh, not Parish Trap, well, I guess Parish Trap, but being able to switch out of like uh, Shadow Tag Mons and Arena Trap Mons, being just having that passive Shed Shell ability is actually really cool. Uh, so I, I think it's going to be like bottom of S tier for me. Grass. Okay, now grass is going to be like top of A. Um, I, I, all right, so it would be bottom of S, but it's top of A for me for uh, one particular reason. And I feel like a lot of people like be like, oh, grass has a lot of weaknesses. It's weak to bug. It's weak to poison. It's weak to ice. It's weak to fly. There's a lot of reasons to not want to be a grass type, but the built in safety goggles might be incredible. Uh, if you are running, let's go with like a Glacier, right? Glacier, base 30 speed Pokemon, Ice type. If your opponent is running like an Amoongus and it wins the speed tie, ah, man, like, you know, I would have beaten it 1v1, but the issue is, you know, I got Spored and now I'm put to sleep. Darn! <laughs> Being able to say, no, I'm a Grass type, I'm immune to that, you can't put me to sleep with Spore or Sleep Powder or anything is actually like a really useful tool in competitive. Beyond that, Grass types are immune to Rage Powder, so if Amoongus is a very prevalent Pokemon, you can have like a super offensive Pokemon that's like, um, I don't know, like Amoongus tends to want to like Rage Powder where you're like fighting moves. So let's say you have like a Conkeldurr with like a Guts Boost, and your opponent has an Amoongus and a, I don't know, what's, in a Glacier. Let's go Glacier again. And the Amoongus is like, I'm going to Rage Powder away this uh, close combat, so my Glacier will live, and I can like KO you with uh, Ice Go Crash at like plus two or whatever. And then you just turn into a grass type that turn reactively knowing that they're going to go for the rage powder and you ignore that rage powder and just smack something with a fighting move anyways that's kind of cool grass coverage isn't all that important for anything other than like one shot and quagsire even though it's not a very common pokemon i just pulled that pokemon out of nowhere but one shotting you know defensive water types like tapu finny is kind of nice actually i feel like grass conkleder isn't a bad idea now the more i like think about it um well, actually, no, I guess it's already spore immune due to the fact that it's like burned 90% of the time. But rage powder immune is kind of cool. But yeah, uh, maybe fighting types do want to turn into like grass once in a while to avoid rage powder and like just absolutely smack something with a like smack tapu finny with like a grass move. I don't know. Like it's it's a good typing to tear it into, but it's not a good typing defensively, which is why it sits at like A and not, not S. Um, you'll find that my opinion is that if you have any kind of passive effect that you can reactively get into, will make you a higher rank in my mind. Uh, ground. I think ground is a phenomenal terror type. I'm gonna put it at S. Uh, actually, mm, I, I can put it top of A, but I feel like S is just generally super good. And here's why, it, it, ground is one of those typings where like, it's S in my mind, not because, um, nah, I can't, mm, I don't want to overcrowd S. Maybe, yeah, I'll put it top of A. Okay. Ground is A in my mind because being immune to Electroweb uh, is very good, but also most like really strong big Pokemon have access to stuff like Earthquake. And like, actually, let me pull this up. Let me pull this up. PokemonShowdown.com. 
if we just look at like the Pokemon with access to Earthquake, like you'll get what I mean. Um, Earthquake. It's not just ground types. It's like every Gen 1 Pokemon. It's Rillaboom for some reason. It's it's like Volcanion. Like everything has Earthquake. You don't, and also High Horsepower is like pretty well distributed. High Horsepower. Yeah, like a lot of things have High Horsepower. Um, You don't need to use Terra Blast for this. And you're immune to electric moves. So like if you're like a decently fast Pokemon, let's go with like that Earthquake example just for like a more you know, broad perspective on this sort of thing. Let's say that you are a, uh, let's go fast Pokemon, like a super fast guy. Uh, let's go with a uh, Latios or mm, something with a good attack step. I don't know, let, I'm just gonna pull one on it. Terrakion, okay. It's Terrakion, the best ground type. Um, you're 108 base speed. You have 129 attack, like, hear me out. Like the opponent will want to like slow you down if you're that fast. Like they got the Regieleki in the field. They're going to Electroweb you and combo into you. Now you're immune to the Electroweb. You're immune to any electric move. You also are likely not getting paralyzed. You can only get paralyzed by Stun Spore and um, stuff like Body Slam, Secondary Effects, and uh, Glare, which none of those things are super common in VGC. It's pretty much either Thunder Wave or nothing. So you're effectively paralysis immune. Uh, being able to have those benefits along with the fact that you get to smack something with a stab earthquake is really nice. Like I can even see like choice banded Pokemon doing this. I don't know. I feel like it's really good. And also there are some like partial ground types that probably want to lose their secondary typing. Um, like I feel like Wygon would unironically be better as a pure ground type, but that's just my opinion. Anyways, yeah, I think it's very good. Ice is an automatic D tier. Congratulations, you're immune to freeze and you're weak to everything. Man, they really scuffed ice, man. Like it is just not, it is just not a good typing. You're weak to steel, you're weak to rock, you're weak to fire, you're weak to just good stuff. Like the only time a mono ice team is gonna go really far in like any format is if like rock types, uh, rock types, fire types, and like steel types just get like Thanos snapped out of existence. Like it's just a bad typing. Like I know I said that like a passive effect will make it more highly ranked in my eyes, but it's just weak to freeze, which already doesn't happen that often. So yeah. Okay, normal. I think normal is gonna be like a C for me um, because it does have that ghost immunity. And you know, if you're a normal type, you can turn into another normal type, but like there's no benefits to it. it like defensively, it's nice. Like in my opinion, I think that like safety goggles Normal Shedinja could be a thing if it gets you know, released in DLC, but like it's it's just not that great. I don't know. It's just you get nothing. You become a jack of all trades. But to be fair, most normal types are going to be like the main benefactors, um, or benefiters. Benefact. I don't know what the word is. People who benefit, Pokemon who benefit, because a lot of normal types have insane coverage. Like look up Normal and Thunderbolt. They're basically like if you have like a Venn diagram, it's one circle. <laughs> it's one circle. Look, if I get rid of Thunderbolt, look how the look how the list changes. It doesn't. It literally doesn't. <laughs> uh, yeah, they have a lot of coverage. A lot of these things get bolt beam coverage. Normal types will want to turn into other types most of the time. I'm tempted to put it at D, but it's not as bad as those, so it stays in C. Uh, but yeah, Poison's gonna be a B for me. Yeah, you're weak to Psychic. Yeah, you're weak to Ground. But I mean, defensively, poison isn't that bad. You just don't have a lot of resistances, right? You're 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 resistant to poison. You're resistant to fighting, for some reason. Um, and that's like it, I think. Bug. I think you resist. But yeah, you resist bug. Poison and bug are such like low tier typings, in my opinion, that like I, I forgot the interaction between them. You know, poison used to be super effective against bug. I might be making that up. I think it might be though in Gen One. Um, but you're immune to poison, which a lot of defensive Pokemon would like that. But you know which type does that better? We'll we'll figure that out in two more rankings. Psychic, uh, you're probably not that bad. I almost want to put it in C. I mean, like, okay, I'll, I'm gonna put it in. Yeah, I'm here. Oh look, they're ranked within their type. Eh, here, okay. So, Psychic is a really good offensive typing. Um. But I feel like that's mostly carried by the fact that Psychic Mons tend to have a lot of coverage. But Psychic as a whole, you're hitting a decent amount of things for neutral, and you're super effective against poison, fighting, um, that's it. 
Wow, it's getting worse the more I think about it. But uh, I mean, like defensively, you're like really frail. You're weak to bug somehow. Uh, you're weak to dark ghost. Uh, you're weak to, and just you're like neutral against everything else. It's not like a very good defensive typing, um, but offensively, it's pretty fine. I, I just don't think it's as bad as the other ones, you know? I don't know, it just, it doesn't seem as bad. Rock. Rock, I would put in C or D, but I'm gonna keep it real with you. Being able to have stab rock slide isn't that bad. I'm gonna put it in C. Um, you get no benefits beyond the fact that you now have stab rock slide and maybe you can like one shot a Charizard. Uh, Steel is gonna be on an automatic S for me. I think Steel's a phenomenal typing, uh, and I feel like a lot of people know that Steel's a phenomenal typing. So why is Steel great? You resist normal, you resist rock, you resist grass, you re you're immune to poison, you resist bug, ice, flying, like you have so many resistances. Uh, and you're also immune to poison, so you can't be toxic, uh, unless it's like a corrosion salazzle, which is a completely different situation. But yeah, no, it's just defensively it's great, offensively it's pretty okay. You're hitting, uh, you're hitting rocks, fairies, uh, ice types, and I believe that's it. So it's not that bad, but like defensively, the benefits you get from it are, are absurd. Uh, I think that there are going to be a lot of dragon types that want to reflectively, reflexively turn into a, a steel type. And I think there are a lot of like walls that want to turn into a steel type. Imagine having a uh, steel type Snorlax and you run like a set like this, right? Let's say you have like a Snorlax and you want to run the Gluttony Belly Drum set. Uh, you have your uh, I guess it runs Figgy Berry. So you have your Figgy Berry, you got Belly Drum, and then as your like your move, you could you could like Terra Blast Steel, but it doesn't get bad Steel moves. I'm pretty sure this guy's got Heavy Slam. He's got Iron Head. Like Steel Snorlax isn't that bad. You get a lot of resistances. Obviously, you keep like the only you keep the only weakness that um you keep the only weakness that uh, Normal has already. But like just being like Poison Immune is pretty cool because you basically have built in immunity. So two abilities. I don't know. Uh, water is going to be, it's either top of B or like in the middle of A, which is a weird dichotomy, I know, but I'm going to say it's an A. Probably, I don't know, I'm not going to rank them within their tiers anymore. I've been, I've been really wishy-washy about that. Speaking of wishy-washy, it's a water type. Um, water is a good typing. Uh, offensively, you hit ground, which is a very common thing to see in BGC. You hit fire, which is pretty common. You hit rock. Um, and those are the big three. Obviously having access to Stab Scald is quite nice, but the issue is that most Pokemon with Scald are already water types, except for like Embor. Um, yeah, like non-water types, they're pretty rare. I guess Dragalge become a, can become a water type, but yeah, uh, it's mostly defensively, like it's a pretty decent typing. Uh, you are resisting Steel, you're resisting um, Ice, which I think Ice, I think the reason that, like, you know, defensive water types are quite good is because, like, offensive ice types are good. You know, if there's, like, a choice band, Galarian, Darmanitan, I'd rather be, like, an, I'd rather be a water type in that situation. But, yeah. Uh, and it's just, like, neutral to most other things. I don't know. And also, resisting fire is quite nice. And a lot of wall breakers tend to... There, there, are, a lot of, there are a lot of, like, fire type wall breakers. You know, like, Charizard, regular Darmanitan, that sort of thing. So, uh, I think that just being a water type is good, you know? Like, if... If... B is the typings that aren't necessarily bad to tear it into. Water is head and shoulders above them, but only kind of hanging with these ones, if that makes sense. You can almost see like the rankings where it's like, you know, extreme utility. Like this is how I ended up, if I could spell right. This is how I ended up um, ranking these as it turns out. Extreme utility. Strong type, okay type, bad type, oh no, <laughs> I don't know, strong type slash utility, if I get spar, I can't spell utility for the life of me, there you go, yeah, no, that's, that's pretty much how, I, I even misspelled it here, that's pretty much how I ranked it, uh, extreme utility, strong type slash utility, okay typing, bad typing, oh no, like that's literally it, but yeah, uh, this is my thoughts on how things are going to shape up in Scarlet Violet as far as like Terra types. Um, it was less of a tier list, I guess it was a tier list, but it was less about the tier list and more about explaining the benefits of each one to you guys. So I figured the tier list would be a good way to draw viewers in. 
But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, let me know uh, by leaving a like on the video and also subscribing to the channel. We're getting very close to 40K and we're getting very close to 50K, which is actually my goal before Scarlet Violet drops in like 10 days. So maybe I can do it. Uh, but yeah, also comment down below your thoughts on the tier list, what you would rank things as. If I was wrong about anything, be sure to yell at me and call me bad words. Uh, but yeah, have a nice one and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.